Hi everyone, in today's lesson we're going to talk about odd and even functions and how to find them graphically. A function is said to be even if it has symmetry with respect to the y-axis. A function is said to be odd if it has symmetry with respect to the origin. Now the y-axis symmetry should be very easy to find. So let's look at these six examples here and see if we can find symmetry with respect to the y-axis. So let's look at example number one first. Here's the y-axis. If I take this curve from here to here and flip it over, does it match up here to here? When I flip it over the y-axis, the answer is yes. So this first one is even. Okay, let's look at example number two. Does example number two have symmetry with respect to the y-axis? I mean, this vertex looks like it's pretty close to the origin. It's actually shifted a little bit to the right, so this one's not even. It could be odd, but we didn't talk about that yet, so we'll go there after. Does number three have symmetry with respect to the y-axis? Flip it over. No. Does number four? No. Five? No. Six? Six is yes. Good. So six would be even. Okay, now let's go back to C all about odd functions. So we know a function is odd if it has symmetry with respect to the origin. Now this is going to be a little bit difficult for me to explain using this tablet, but let's just write down how to check for odd functions. What you're going to do is you're going to flip the paper 180 degrees, or in other words, upside down, and you want to see if you get the same picture. So what I want you to do now is with the remaining four images, I want you to take your piece of paper, flip it upside down, and see if you get the same exact picture. If you get the same exact picture, it's odd. If you don't, then it's neither, because we already tested for even. So take a minute and try that, and then hit resume for the answer. Okay, you should have gotten that three was odd. You should have gotten the same picture for that. And for number five, you should have gotten odd as well. And also number four, we're all the same. And number two came out to be neither. Okay, so again, this is a little tricky for me to show you right here on the tablet. So we'll skip this um, graphically representation, but at least just get the general concept down that an even function has symmetry with the y-axis and an odd function has symmetry with the origin, and we'll go over the rest tomorrow. Okay, before we move on to the next page, I want to review a few things first. Um, you don't have to write this down if you don't want to, but I would definitely suggest taking out a piece of paper if uh, you need to. So go ahead and pause the video. But I want to review things like this. 2x squared. What does that mean? That means 2x times 2x, which means we multiply the coefficients 2 times 2, which gives us 4. Then we multiply x times x, which gives us x squared. Now that's relatively easy. What if I made this now negative x squared? Well, negative x is the same thing as saying negative 1x. So if we wrote that out, that would mean negative 1x times negative 1x. So we would multiply the coefficients, negative 1 and negative 1, and get a positive 1. And then we would multiply x times x, and we get x squared. Okay, what would happen if I multiplied negative x to the third? So again, that's the same thing as saying negative 1, but now I'm raising it to the third power, so I need negative 1x times negative 1x times negative 1x. So negative 1 times negative 1, so these two together multiply to a positive 1, so positive 1x squared, and then I want to multiply this by negative 1x, so we multiply 1 times negative 1, and we get negative 1, and we add the powers, and we get x to the third. Okay. Now, the general rule of thumb is, is that when you're taking a negative and squaring it, it becomes positive. When you're taking a negative and cubing it, it becomes negative still. So now, what if I throw you a few curveballs? What if I do negative, negative x squared, or negative and negative x to the third? What do you do first? Well, you should be thinking order of operations. 
So you should be doing this first, negative x squared. So if you recall, negative x squared is positive x squared. And then there's this negative on the outside. So your final answer here would be negative x squared. And now the same concept for this, what would you do first? You would do exponents. So negative x to the third reduces to negative 1x to the third. And then I have this negative on the outside that I bring in. So a negative and a negative make a positive. So this would be positive x to the third. Now, all of this stuff will be very useful in the next slide. So let's go on to the next page. Okay, next page now. I want to talk about odd and even functions algebraically. So to prove that a function is even, you must show or prove this. You must prove that f of negative x is equal to f of x. And to prove that a function is odd, you must show that f of negative x is equal to negative f of x. Now, these symbols and notation may be a little difficult for you to understand. So, to, in other words, to prove that a function is even, you're going to plug in negative x for all x values and simplify. If the answer is exactly the same as the original function, then it's even. To prove that something's odd, you're going to plug in negative x again for all the x values, and if the answer comes out that every sign is opposite, then it's odd. The best way to do it is through an example. So let's look at example number one. What we're going to do is we're going to plug negative x in for all x values. So you see how for x I'm putting in negative x? So I have negative x to the fourth plus 2 times negative x squared. So if we want to simplify this, we have negative x to the fourth. Uh, that's really the same thing as saying negative 1x to the fourth. So negative 1 to the fourth is positive 1. And x to the fourth is just x to the fourth. And now here, we're not going to multiply first. We're going to do exponents. So negative x squared is the same thing as saying positive x squared. And then we're going to multiply this by 2. So my final answer is x to the fourth plus 2x squared. Now I know that this algebra in here may be a little confusing, and that's okay. But the general rule that you're looking for is is f of x the same exact thing that I got out after I plugged in negative x? Since it's the exact same function, we say that it's even. Okay, let's try another example. So again, we're going to plug in negative x. So we're going to do f of negative x. We're going to have 4, negative x to the third, minus 2, negative x squared, plus 7. So again, you're going to do exponents first. So negative x to the third is simply negative x. And we're going to multiply that by 4. So this becomes negative 4x. Now we're going to do exponents first. So negative x squared is x squared, then times the negative 2 in front, which makes this a negative 2x squared. And then we can bring down the positive 7. So is this function, the original, the same exact thing as this? You should be telling me no, it's actually not. Uh, there's a difference here. This is negative 4x and this is positive 4x. So are every single sign then opposite? So if the answer has every sign that's opposite than the original, then we could say that it's odd. But only the 4s are opposite. Everything else was the same. So this one actually is neither. Okay, let's try example number three. So again, we're going to plug in f of negative x. So negative x to the third plus 3 times negative x. So again, negative x to the third is the same thing as saying negative x to the third. And positive 3 times negative x is negative 3x. So let's compare. Is the original function have the same signs and everything the same? No. Are all of the signs opposite? Well, is a positive x to the third turn into a negative x to the third? Yes. 
And does a positive 3x turn into a negative 3x? Yes. So all of the signs are opposite, so the function is odd. Okay, I'd like you to try 4, 5, and 6 on your own, um, and then hit resume for the answers. Okay, here are your answers. Okay, take a minute, write down your answers, and come in tomorrow with questions.